Hello everyone. Today I thought I would talk about the Beagle Bone Black and the project I'm working on. So, uh, just to give you a quick rundown of the board, if you haven't heard of it, uh, the link will be down in the description. So it has uh, a Texas Instruments AM3358 microprocessor. That's an ARM Cortex A8. So uh, it's got two 46-pin headers on both sides, and then USB 2.0, micro HDMI, and a uh, micro SD card slot. It has 10 by 100 Ethernet, and then mini USB, and then the 2.1 millimeter barrel connector. So, <clears throat> just to give you a quick rundown of this board and what I plan to do with it, um, I'm going to use this board for an audio mixer. Uh, and the first thing you'll say is, is that, well, it doesn't have any uh, audio ports. How are you going to do that? So, um, I'll take you to the screen and uh, show you what I have installed and how I plan to use this board. Here we go. This is what the um, USB audio looks like. Here's the two ports. 7.1 channel. Okay, so this is what the configuration looks like. Uh, it could be a lot less than this. I have an HDMI monitor plugged in, a USB 2.0 bar, and I have two audio cards plugged in, USB audio cards, and they're both 7.1 with 3.5 millimeter jack so you could literally have this working in just a matter of minutes uh, there's no software required it would automatically work with the bare bones BeagleBoard black image that comes from their website or comes on pre-installed on your board so I just thought I'd show you what the what the configuration looks like and I'll show you what it looks like in awesome mixer on the screen as well as the software that I'm going to use so alright so here's the first the first thing you should do um, is actually just click on the icon down here and go to accessories and then LX terminal and then when you do that just type uh, the terminal will appear and type ALSA mixer first thing that you see is, is that there is an audio card displayed for the Beagle Bomb Black that's not what we're gonna touch today we're gonna leave that just as the default just how you see it so I'm gonna go ahead and press F6 and right away we see that there's three audio cards audio card 0, audio card 1, and audio card 2 which are the two bottom ones are the USB so I go to that one and I can turn the audio up by hitting the up keys and then if I hit F6 again I'll go to the other channel and I'll turn its audio up so there we go so that shows that the USB audio cards are identified so okay, so here's the interface. Uh, it looks gorgeous. It would be great with a touch screen. It would give you all the flexibility that you'd need, especially out of uh, for under sixty dollars. This is just fantastic. Uh, if you have a BeagleBone touch screen, this would be even better. So I just show you real quick on linking the devices in the interface. So um, we'd go to options at the top and then preferences. Here we're at sound hardware at the very top, uh, and it talks about sound API, which is ALSA, which is the ALSA mixer that we modified, and the volume for the devices. And then here from the TI BeagleBone Black, we'd set it to uh, the USB adapters that I chose, and we'd set those both up for master and headphones, or deck one and deck two. Uh, and then we, um, you can go down to live broadcasting, or you can do normalization crossfader settings stuff like that so uh, you can also change the path to your library in here and uh, audio file formats so I just thought I'd show what this looks like it's very easy to set up clean interface and it works fantastic so um, if you have any questions please leave a comment below if you like what you saw today please subscribe have a good day guys